Now that brings us to our three stock lunch today. The theme is how to recession proof your portfolio. Dollar General and AutoZone got upgraded to overweight at Morgan Stanley, saying their demand tends to hold up better during a downturn. We're also trading Pepsi, a traditional safe, uh, safety play for staples. Let's bring in Jeff Mills. He's Bryn Mawr Trust Chief Investment Officer and a CNBC contributor. Jeff, let's start um, with Dollar General. What do you do with the stock here? Yeah, hi, Kelly. I mean, whether it's an economic slowdown, whether it's a recession, we're looking for stocks that are going to do well in those environments. And I think Dollar General is one of those names. We've owned it for quite some time, and it's just a consistent outperformer when the economy is slowing. If you go back to 2011, 2015, 2016, 2018, 2020, every single time when you saw growth slow, Dollar General outperformed. And I also think in this particular environment, as customers start to trade down because of expensive prices, the customer base starts to expand for Dollar General. 80% of their products sell for less than $5, and 76% of their products uh, are, are consumer staples or everyday essentials. So even from an inventory perspective, you know, a lot of these companies like Target, consumer spending preferences are shifting. Their inventory is not matching. Dollar General isn't necessarily going to have that same problem. I think it's a reasonable valuation here. Our analyst who covers the name thinks high single-digit EPS growth for the next number of years, uh, an interesting growth opportunity in Mexico for the company. So uh, once again, I think you get outperformance from a name like Dollar General. And a lot of people like uh, the auto uh, parts players, and your choice here is AutoZone. Yeah, AutoZone's a name we're looking at, Tyler. I think it, it's an interesting one here. And again, you're looking for companies that are going to be able to maintain some semblance of earnings growth in a slowdown. And when you're talking about a recession and people's cars, they're going to patch, glue, tape, whatever they can do. <laughs> so it's that fix versus buy sort of argument. And I think on top of that, again, specific to this environment, uh, you've had a shortage of new cars for over two years now. Uh, and I think that plays into it. You're also seeing the average age of a car on the road over over 12 years. That's actually a record. So people are holding on to their cars. They're avoiding higher prices. They're avoiding that shortage of inventory. And again, I think the valuation is reasonable for a name like AutoZone. All right. That brings us to Pepsi. Jeff, what do you do with this stock? Yeah. So like you said, Kelly, Pepsi is sort of a, a typical name that you would look for in this sort of environment. The chart worries me a little bit. To me, it looks like a double top. I think you break below 153. You could have meaningful, meaningful downside from there. And the valuation here is what bothers me at 23 times forward versus the sector at 18 times, you're just paying a premium. And I think all of these companies have the potential to have margin pressure, but margin pressure impacts the stock price more when you're trading at a premium valuation. So that's my issue here with Pepsi. All right, so that rounds it out for those three stocks. And do you want to leave us with a comment uh, with markets? Um, I was going to say puking. Maybe that's not polite, but uh, in response, I guess, uh, to what the Fed did yesterday, what do you think is going on here? Yeah, I mean, the market's doing what it, it, it told us it was going to do, and it, it's scared about interest rates, and I think the Fed was sort of maximum hawkish yesterday. Um, we got a little bit of a head fake again. This is exactly what happened last meeting, but, you know, I would anticipate more downside until you see inflation move to a point where the Fed is going to be able to put the brakes on, and, you know, I don't anticipate that happening anytime soon, so we're looking for maybe 3,500, then maybe 3,300. Um, those are levels I'd be paying attention, with, uh, paying attention to at this point. Well, we are rapidly approaching 3,600. Uh, Jeff, we'll leave it there. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it.